Hello YouTube, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about how to install Windows 10 and do a, a basic desktop overview and clean look at it. Always remember, comment, subscribe, and share. Let's go ahead and get started. Right now I'm using VirtualBox to put this in the VM. And you can put the, you, this, you can follow the same install if you wanted to put this on a a bare metal instant server or desktop as well. So I'm just going to put it in. We're going to put Windows 10. And it automatically came out. Once I put the name in, it sensed that and knows it's 64 bit. And we're going to do 3072, get at least 3 gigs of RAM. Virtual disk. Dynamically allocate that. Let's give it no, let me give it thirty-five gigs. And then I want to change some settings here. I'm going to change my processor. I want to give it at least two CPUs. And I have to change my disk here. Oops. Let it know what this to uh, install from. There we go. All right. So we're going to go ahead and start that up. And it's pretty much a straightforward process when, when Windows calls you. All right. When it first comes on, you're going to be viewing the Windows the display menu right here, the Windows setup display. And you can choose a language for which language to install, your time and uh, currency format, and your keyboard input. I'm just going to go with English, United States, next. You, you also can use this to repair your, your PC. You can use the the install software or CD if you have either and you can repair your computer with that menu right there but we're just going to go ahead and select install now and then the setup is going to run And there you go. This is the end user license agreement for Microsoft. You just have to agree to it. I accept the license and terms. And select next. I'm going to hit do upgrade install. Oh, sorry. Install. Custom install. I'm sorry. There's nothing to upgrade. All right, here you select your drive. And if you think anything's not showing up, you just want to hit refresh if you have an extra drive or anything like that. I know I only have 35 gigs, but I just wanted to select it to show you what's going on. And you want to hit new. If you have anything on this disk already, you just want to hit new. And format, I'm just gonna hit cancel and go next. And I know this is unallocated space. All right, the install process completed. And now we're back up. <clears throat> and after that window finishes, you just want to go ahead and remove your media. If it's virtual, you want to come to devices and remove it from here, uncheck it. And if it's a physical drive, remove the disk out of the optical drive. You have that. If you have USB media, you want to remove it from there.
get the just a moment loading screen alright and it says let's start with your region we're gonna pick United States <coughs> keyboard layout again Skip this, I don't need a second one. I'm going to select domain join instead and just make up an account. I don't want to use any emails. You get all those security questions out the way and your username and password it's going to ask you more about your your device settings do you want activity history I'm just gonna say no but it might be useful for you to have if you want stuff to go across devices do you want uh, Cortana if you want to do like uh, speech recognition and ask for different helps help uh, finding different things from Microsoft's uh, software uh, center of distribution which is similar to like the Google Play Store or Apple Store right now I'm just going to decline <clears throat> and these are all your other um, settings privacy settings right here Online speech recognition, I'm just going to say no. Find my own device, no. Inking and typing, no. Advertising, no. Location, diagnostic data. And you may or may not want this depending upon your needs, what you're doing. Is it a tablet? Is it a device you're going to be mobile with? Um, is it something that you're only going to be using in the house? And then they have this nice welcome screen where they load up everything for you to desktop. Well, there's a lot of steps in this Windows 10 installation. Just keep that in mind. You have to have patience and things will work out fine. And if you want to see me install anything else or how to work through some of the troubleshooting on any uh, Linux or Windows operating system, just put that in the comments below and I'll try to have a video meet your needs. I probably should have gave this system a little more resources so that it will boot a little bit faster. Could have gave it four cores but I was being cheap and gave it only two. All right, here you go, and this is the Microsoft Windows 10 desktop. It's searching for display drivers. If this comes up, you can usually just click on it. In Microsoft, I have some recommended drivers, whether they're display drivers, if you have a printer or anything like that. You really want to make sure your hours and time zone is correct. I do get a lot of problems with that, regardless if I'm installing in VirtualBox or on one of my physical systems you can pause your updates change the active hours view update history 
in this nice little box here they have this nice menu down here that I really like you can type and search different things on the internet you can say um, computer manage it or command prompt and if you if I would have selected all the yeses it would give me all the information they also have a nice quick search feature right here with weather tell me what weather it is in my area this is a great great service you can do today to the uh, top news today's history new movies and it has top apps that are used web apps your documents settings and more then they have the uh, old start menu still here in the left hand corner with apps like 3D Viewer, Alarms and Clocks, Calculator, Calendar, Camera, uh, Mail, Messaging, Microsoft Edge, your new browser, the Microsoft Store I was talking about. It's kind of like the Google Play Store. You have a lot of little apps in there um, that you can pick and choose from. Um, the one drive is already provided here in an office if you want to get those for purchase um, you can also sync with your Xbox which is a cool feature if you got games on there you can play them on the PC certain uh, certain games not all games and they still have some of the old uh, administrative tools where you can clean up your disk optimize your disk uh, add and remove drives drivers for um, computer management if you have hardware uh, special hardware special video graphics cards um, things like that you can come to device manager and make sure you have the proper drivers also disk management it can be handled here if I had no disk I could do set up partitions and things like that still some of the, um, the old things that Microsoft already had but this is their their store with gaming entertainment productivity and deals and you have all their pricing right here all right thanks again for stopping by this is the Windows 10 enterprise evaluation I just have here it's good for 90 days see you in the next video